Boy, they haven't, they haven't met a war they won't sign up for, and they haven't met a veteran they won't screw over. Also today, comedian Jon Stewart is not the only one who's furious and disappointed after legislation designed to help veterans fails. The measure was meant to help vets exposed to toxic burn pits during their service. It impacts more than 3 million veterans, including the Oklahoma man who News 4's Adria Gowen spoke with today. Adria? Kevin, Gary Grimes is a U.S. Marine veteran and service ser served our country. And service runs deep in his family as well. He has three children who serve. Sadly, two of his children suffer effects from burn pits, making this bill and the decision even more significant. Were you surprised by um, the legislation that, that failed yesterday? Very surprised since it had cleared the Senate once before and had, uh, had just only a very minor addition in the uh, change in the House. So it should have sailed through the Senate again, but it didn't. Tough news to hear for Gary Grimes, who has two military children impacted by the decisions and an entire foundation that would have benefited from the bill. A large percentage of our claims here at the Dale K. Grant Veterans Foundation is around burn pits and Agent Orange. And one thing people keep forgetting is this legislation impacts also Agent Orange veterans too, not just burn pits. That means veterans who suffered chronic illnesses while in Afghanistan, Iraq, or Vietnam won't have access to expanded benefits promised as part of the PACT Act. Millions of veterans have been impacted by illnesses while serving overseas. I'm here, you know, obviously representing my son-in-law who passed away. It's never been about just my soldier and my family. This is about all of them. The legislation passed the House and Senate in June, but failed on a second pass through lawmakers. 25 Republican lawmakers flipped their vote, including Oklahoma Senator Jim Inhofe, who says he made the switch because he wants other legislation passed first. Grimes says regardless, lawmakers need to put veterans first. We mean well, and the VA is an organization that means well and is working very hard for veterans. There's been a lot of progress. But as a nation, I think it needs to be put up on a higher level. The Senate is expected to vote again on the PACT Act this coming Monday. In the meantime, if you are a veteran and you have questions about what to do now, you can check out the Dale K. Graham Foundation. We posted a link to that website at K4.com.